welcome to episode nine of the engine room brought to you by defender 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 today i am joined by two absolute legends of glasgow warriors and two blokes that play in the centers hugh jones and stafford mcdowell good afternoon gentlemen good afternoon ryan well less far off have you both always been centers no have you both always been centers? I no. don't think I'm a centre now. I'm a, a second. He's a second. Cross cross. He's a hybrid. Centre, yeah. Um, so, hold on. So start with Shug. You haven't always been a centre. What other positions? No. Have you played? Growing up, I was a scrum half. Um, you you won't believe this. Half. Looking at the size of me. Uh, yeah, I was a scrum half. I was quite small uh, growing up. Played loads of nine. Played a bit of ten. Um, played a lot of fullback as well uh, in my teens, and then only kind of settled in the centres. Uh, after I left school, and even since then, I've played all over the back line in my professional career. But never in the forwards. Uh, no, I think I was. I maybe p- played one game at hooker w- in under tens, um, <laughs> and I had a little cameo at eight, around the same time. I could see you playing eight. I think it was maybe under twelves. I played eight. Um, I'd be great off the base. Yeah. Um, but no, no actual time. Oh, I've been on the scrum in one professional yeah, game. Uh, okay, but That's not, yeah, it doesn't count. Yeah. And we, we actually conceded a penalty and it was my side. So and what, did, did you put again. your head in the right place? Yeah, I was fine. I got everything right, but my shoulder slid up. Oh, yeah. And so I wasn't really supporting the prop in front of me. This is <laughs> really technical. Happens, yeah. Happens, yeah. <laughs> and so I, I lost it for us. Uh, we lost that game. Staff, Long answer that one. you always been in the centres? Nope. I was second row. <laughs> oh, I thought you were actually, joking. <laughs> <laughs> This is young. young. Oh, oh, now we know why you oh. can jump in the yeah. line out. Uh, second row, then number eight. And then when I was 14 or 15, I got moved to 10 because no one else could play 10. And then it wasn't, I was a 10 up until I was 17, 18. Then I moved out to 12. And I played a bit of 15 under 20s. And your old man was your coach? Yeah, my old man was second so row and he was my coach. He tried to seven. make you a second row. Yeah, I think he, yeah, he wanted me to be like him. And then... Uh, <laughs> you saw the light. I saw the light, moved out. And then now slowly I'm moving back, which isn't pleasing yeah nice. so do you want to announce that to everyone yep. uh, on this po- staff is just about to become a back row again yeah what are Stafford's best strengths um, <laughs> he's really tall he's really tall <laughs> and um, he's really 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 tall and good great in, in the line out a uh, good line out jumper um, he has a good kicking game really good kicking game um, very good distributor we just heard that he played 10 growing up so not surprised and um, second row and, and second row and number eight um yeah he passes the ball really well uh really fizzes it gets some power behind it um and he's just really tall uh yeah, well that's he's it. just a big guy back. and physical really physical and tall and tall staff what about yeah. shag what's his you know what's his x factor Remember, you're, yeah. you're not that quick through the gates, are you? I'm really slow. You're really through the slow gates, through yeah. the speed gates, but when it comes to the pitch, just yeah. put a ball on his hand. I get away with it. Lightning. People you know who's the I'm fastest quick, through the gates? In the sc- is it you? I think it's Jamie Doby at the moment. I think it's Mackay. It? And, and then and Josh then Mackay. Mackay. And then Mackay. And then Ryan Wilson. <laughs> and then me, and Ryan then, Wilson. And then Bergy, and then Wilson. No, 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 it's then me. Uh, yeah, Shuggy, again, great, great distributor. You can tell he's played all his life in the backs practicing a lot of passing mm. did you say you played 10 i have played a bit of 10 yeah um yeah uh reads the game very well uh knows when to, to put the ball on the foot great kicking game uh knows when to run knows when to pass just all around great player what's happened over the last few weeks why have we clicked so well um well we've won a few games um Helps. i think for me the the way we train um mm. It's, I mean, Franco talks about it all the time, and I, uh, loads of coaches say this, that it is a whole squad effort, but the amount of changes we're, wa- we're making week to week um, shows that it really is sort of everyone that's coming in to play um, is playing really well and adding to what we're trying to do as a, as a squad, as a team, um, and just sort of taking us forward. So um, everyone's aligned when we're out on the field. We're all able to do sort of everything that the coaches are asking of us uh, and then obviously transferring that onto the pitch. And Steph, that's important, isn't it, for guys that haven't been involved as much, taking their opportunity and stepping up? Yeah, and 
and I think you've seen that over the last, I think there was 12 changes at the weekend from the Stormers game, and then it would have been similar the last time we played Bath and, and Perpignan as well, that I think we're at the point now that our training standards are, are so high and everyone's aligned that whoever puts the jersey on is one, expected to do a job, and two, knows exactly what they need to do to, to fill the jersey. Talking of the coaching setup now, obviously Franco gets a lot of the plaudits, but then there's the men behind the scenes, like Pete Murch in defence, Big Nige in attack, and then Pete Horn with his skills and breakdown stuff. How, how good have those guys been this season, especially over the last six, seven weeks as we've grown? Yeah, brilliant. Um, obviously, Nige runs the attack, um, which for us has been going really well recently. Um, he comes up with really good plans. Um, he obviously studies the opposition and, and provides all the detail on what we need to do, and, and we sort of implement that out on the field. So. Um, the fact that we're all aligned and, and the training standards are good means that we can sort of get down to it quickly um, and sort of practice those finer details rather than constantly practicing just sort of shape, if you know what I mean. Um, we can work out ways to beat the opposition rather than just practicing shape. And I, I love how you jump straight into Nige because you know, I mean we won't go to you for the defensive stuff. No, go to staff. Yeah, we'll go to staff. You can talk about merch. Defe you can speak <laughs> about merch and breakdown. So yeah. I'm on yeah, Pete Merch and well. Pete Horn. I'll do skills. Uh, yeah, I think aside from Nige, obviously attack. Um, I think with Merch and Pete, it's pretty special because they're obviously two men that have done a lot for the club in the past. So um, I think when the boys see them up there presenting and how much time and effort, I mean they're here at, as soon as the stadium opens and then they're not away till a couple hours after we've all left and gone home. So they're obviously two men that care a lot about the club. So when you see them present and the amount of effort they put into it, you, you want to repay that to them and, and kind of give back to, to how much they care about the club and try and replicate that. So, um, yeah, you, it makes you kind of want to play for them. And yeah, I think you can tell with the whole coaching team, they're all pretty close um, and they all work well together. So it, I think that definitely filters down into the whole squad and, and makes the place kind of, everyone feels tight as a family. Hopefully you have enjoyed episode nine of The Engine Room. Brought I to have. you by Defender. 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 Let us know who you'd like next week or next time. Do you want to be a mascot at this year's Rugby World Cup 2023 in France? Well, worldwide partner Defender is giving you an unbelievable chance to be at this year's tournament. We are searching for Defenders of Tomorrow. Children who are passionate about making a difference and building a better tomorrow. Look out on social media for more information.